Yo, what is up Smash players? In today's video, I'm going to show you in-game how to wave dash as Kazuya in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Now, wave dashing is an advanced technique that was discovered that allows you to cancel your crouch dashes and let you just zoom across the stage with them. You see, normally, if you haven't heard of this yet, which though you probably have, you see how you, when you do a crouch dash, you like pause in between. Well, to wave dash, you get to sort of cancel it and zoom past. Now, what my, makes my video different is that I'm gonna make sure that you are able to do this instantly by the end of this video because I understand the root of how this works because I thought deeply about it. You see, that's why I think deeply about, you know, women, wisdom, and winning at Super Smash Bros. So, let's get into it. Basically, if you understand, look, if you understand the root cause, then you'll be able to do this yourself because you'll be able to troubleshoot, you'll be able to understand why it works, and you'll understand much better when to input things because you're not just, you know, listening to someone be like, oh, input them like soon, but not too soon, but not too slow. It's like, what does that even mean? I'll just have, like, that's too much trial and error. I want you to understand so there is no trial and error. It's just, well, trial and error, but you know the direction you're going because you understand what you need to do to get it to work. So let me teach you exactly why this works. But first, I should show you, well, I should tell you the inputs and show you. And basically, you need tilt stick for starters, okay? Because that's how you do it on a pro controller uh, or a GameCube controller. And it involves the left and right sticks, okay? So the left is the movement stick, the right is gonna be your tilt stick. And basically, to do it, um, was that? Oh, wait, hold on. Um, woo! Okay, was that? Um, oh, okay. You see how I'm able to fix it? You see, that's because I understand what makes it wrong and I'm able to troubleshoot. If you're doing this at home, you're just like kind of trying and hoping it works. You see, I'm able to troubleshoot and I'll tell you exactly why right now so that by the end of this video or instantly after understanding, you'll be able to do it. So all you need to do, look, you need to understand that a Casio input for a wave dash, okay, this is like explain like I'm five, how to wave dash is Casio and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. This is it right now, so be ready, okay? A crouch dash, okay, a crouch dash is literally a sure you can input, okay? Just a regular crouch dash is forward, down, forward, okay? That is that is the crouch dash input. Now we use both sticks here, and what you wanna do is you hit forward on the left stick. Easy enough, okay? You hit forward on the, C, the left stick, and then you hit down on the C stick. And what happens is because down on the C stick is a macro for a direction and an attack, okay? A direction plus attack. Now, if you hit forward and then you hit down on the C stick, but if you just flick it, it'll go down for a second and then it'll go right back up because you're still holding forward, okay? The key is not let go of forward. So you hit forward, flick down on the C stick, and then you let go of the C stick because you just flick it quickly, and then because you're still holding forward, it goes forward, down, forward. Make sense? Holding forward, down the C stick, transition it to down for a second, and then back to forward. Now, I actually don't know why this version cancels, okay? It probably has to do with the fact that the C-stick input is a single frame, okay? That probably, you know, makes it weird, okay? That's probably why. So, all you need to do is, is really that simple. You just tap forward on the left stick, okay? And then you hit down on the C-stick. Now, let me help you troubleshoot, because think about it, if you're hitting forward, a lot of people, you, you need to hit forward, then you need to tap down on the C-stick, but you need to hold forward. You need to hold, forward because if you're not holding forward it's not going to go back so the first thing is to hold forward now people are saying there's a certain timing to it well guess what there is no timing so what happens if you do it wrong you know what that means if that means look there's only one way you could you could mess this up i'll be blunt there's only one way you could f this up okay and that is you're holding down on the c-stick too long okay when you flick down on the c-stick you need to do it extremely well, not extremely quickly, but don't hold it down there. Because look, the only way to F this up, okay, is look, this is what happens if I hold the C-stick uh, too long. I'll do an attack. Okay, first, if you see yourself do down tilt, right away that should tell you you're hitting, you're holding down on the C-stick too long, okay? That's the first thing, okay? Okay, that's the second thing. And it's happening to me a lot because I'm, I'm at this weird angle. If I do this back down tilt, okay, 
or, or like this, even a forward down tilt, that means you're tilting the C-stick, okay? The, the C-stick needs to be very down, okay? If you if you accidentally tilt back down and forward down, then um you'll do like this. And for me, because I'm like trying to get in the camera here, I keep like doing this back down tilt, which kind of messes it up, right? Um, yeah, so that's, that's another thing, okay? So, so far, this is like, how, this is so easy, right? Now, now, let me finish it off. Let me finish it off with the grand finale. You might think, you might use your logic and be like, okay, if I'm holding forward and I flick down on the C-stick, and, and actually, I've, I've juiced your info later, but if you're holding forward and you flick down on the C-stick, and then you're, you're holding forward again, you might be like, oh, but DK Bill, then I'll just hold forward, flick down, hold forward, and because I'm still holding forward, I'll just flick down again, and I'll go back to forward, right? And I'll be like, oh, crouch dash, easy, just like hold forward and flick, flick the C-stick down, right? Hold forward, flick the C-stick down, this is easy as pie, right? But wrong, you see, because it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work that way, because if you're holding forward, flick down, and then you're still holding forward, you will do a crouch dash, okay? So you're... So what you want to do, you're, what you're saying is like, you know, I'll crouch dash, but then because I'm still holding forward, I'll flick down and then I'll be holding forward again and I'll crouch dash again. But wrong, because remember, the C-stick is not just a directional input down, it's directional plus attack. So if you're holding forward, down, and then forward again, okay, and I have juicier info later because there's things I need to uh, tell you to make sure you are 100% foolproof, you will get this. But if, if you're holding forward, tap down, and then you're forward, okay? But then you tap, okay, so you've done one crouch dash from that, and then you tap forward again, or sorry, and then you're, you're still holding forward, but then you tap down again, you actually won't crouch dash again. You will cancel that first crouch dash into an uppercut. Because remember, C-stick is a macro for down plus attack, and if you've already crouch dashed once, then it's going to see crouch dash. Oh, now you're attacking. Okay. I'm going to do a uppercut because you know, the uppercut, um, or the shore you can moves. Those are really just crouch dash, uh, cancel moves, right? Crouch dash into a is the uppercut, right? So if you do a crouch dash, you can't just, you know, keep matching the C stick. Now, the final things I need to mention is you can only do this from standing. Okay. If I'm running, I can't just like flick the C stick down cause I'll do a dash tack. Okay. So I need to be standing and like, like I was just saying, you need to let go of the left stick every time. So essentially, oh, but also, also, you might ask me what the timing is, but the timing, people are saying like, oh, if, if you're lazy, you know, if you flick them both at the same time, then it's not going to work. Well, guess what? Those, those YouTubers can eat my ass because look, look, I, okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to flick them both at the exact same time. Okay. I flicked it diagonally, okay? And then I flicked it diagonally back then. But look, look, look. And I'm doing that because I'm angled because I'm trying to get in this camera. But listen, listen. I You could flick the right stick and left stick. You could flick both sticks at the exact same frame. I tested this on the box, okay? You could flick these at the exact same time, okay? Probably, okay? Maybe it's one frame. But honestly, I'm gonna say flick both. Okay, in summary, this is how to do this instantly. Step one, flick both sticks at the exact same time. I'm telling you, do it, do it. But the left stick, okay, this is my left hand. Okay, the left stick, okay, I'm not gonna use my hands because it might mirror, but the left stick, what you do, you hold it. The right stick, you don't hold it. And if you mess up, there is one mistake and that's you held the right stick too long, okay? And then, after you do it, you have to let go of the left stick and then do it again. So tap them both, but then just let go of the C stick and keep holding the forward one. And then once you do it, you let go of the forward and then you do it again. It's really that easy. Do if Okay, if you can't do a million of them in a row instantly, I get it. But if you can't do one instantly, go play Mario Party 4 because this is the explanation for a five-year-old. Now... I don't doubt people will see this video because people sleep on DK Bill, but to those who did, you just learned extreme value for easy money. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that DK thumbs up, spank that subscribe, and share with a friend, family, foe, dog. Have a swell evening, and I'll see you next time.